Can a high-tech zap really clear up your acne? Let's find out. The world has been taken by storm by these high-frequency Acne One devices, so I wanted to find out once and for all, is there any scientific evidence behind them? These devices use a mild alternating current passing through an electrode filled with gas, which is usually either argon or neon. This ionizes the gas inside, which generates ozone, an antibacterial gas related to oxygen, which can kill the acne-causing bacterium, cutibacterium acnes. And this bacterium doesn't like oxygen species. The other mechanism suggested is that the electric current generates heat, which increases blood flow in the local area. The enhanced blood flow increases oxygen and nutrient delivery to the area, aiding healing. In my opinion, this is not solid theory and there's plenty of instances where warming effect and nutrient delivery to the skin could actually increase inflammation. But what evidence do we have to support these theories? Well, a Brazilian study from 2022 actually looked at one of these wands, but in a Petri dish. They showed reduction in the colonies of cutibacterium acnes with use of the wand on the Petri dish. But crucially, this has not been proven in humans. And why is this important? Because if you think anatomically, the bacterium lives deep in the hair follicles and not on just the surface of the skin, like in agar jelly begging to be killed. And well, what about ozone? Well, there are numerous studies which claim benefit with acne acne lesions on treatment with ozone. However, they have been studying topical ozonized oils with immersion therapy to the face and not via treatment ones. Even from this review in 2022, the studies in the review were limited, so the jury's still out on this one. So I'm not stopping you from going out and purchasing an acne wand if that's truly what you want to do, but just be aware that it's not rigorously supported by scientific literature and it may not act as you were anticipating.